everyone and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own corduroy from the book Corduroy and even with a removable button. So what you will need is some paper, some crayons, a marker, stapler, and some time. So let's get started. All right, to make corduroy, you will need a pe two pieces of copy paper. Now I'm gonna press rather dark. You can draw light in case you need to make changes. Move that book up there. Corduroy is so cute. All right, the first thing you're going to do is draw the head. Now we wanna use the whole piece of paper so that corduroy can be as big as he can be. If you draw too skinny, then he won't have much stuffing to him and it'll be kind of wimpy. So make a large circle for the head. And draw two ears on the side like that. And take your eraser and erase this line. And erase this line. Next, we're gonna draw his muzzle. So we're gonna draw a big circle here. And then his nose is like an upside down rounded triangle. And then a J, backwards J, and a regular J to make his mouth. And the eyes are just two big circles with another circle in the middle. And we're gonna leave a little white light. So I'll draw a circle that you are not gonna color in. And I'm just gonna color in his eye right now. But you can wait to color it in later if you want. It just helps it come alive when you have the eye colored in. Good. And then add a little bit of fur in the ear. Now for the body. So the body is Fairly simple, come to where the end of his head is and we're gonna draw the arm bumping out and then a straight line down and then the paw, slide this up a little, come in. Now you wanna try to do whatever you did on this side you wanna do on that side. So come back over here and try to make it about the same. If it's not exact, that's okay. Paw, a little divide for the leg, and then corduroy has a pair of corduroy overhaul overalls. So you want to put that in there, and we're going to draw the strap coming down and a button. But on this side, if you read the story, he is missing his button, so we will not draw his button in there. Good. Now, the next thing that you want to do is cut it out. So you will get your scissors and make sure you have two pieces of paper and you're gonna cut this out. Then take your crayons or your markers and color it. And then I will show you what the next step is after that. Now that you have them all colored in both sides, the next step is to connect them together. So you'll need to take a stapler and what you're going to do is just staple all the way around. Basically like sewing them together, but you need to leave at least one spot open because what you will need to do is either take some scrap paper that you have and crumple it up and stuff it in there, or take a Kleenex and rip it up and stuff it in there. But that's how you are going to get them to be 3D. So let's stuff them. Now once he's all stuffed with Kleenex or um, paper, the final step is to give him his missing button. 
So what you need to do is just get a piece of paper, try to draw the exact same type of button, but it doesn't necessarily have to match. Cut it out. Get a piece of tape, fold it into a loop, put it behind the button, and Corduroy has his missing button. I hope you had fun today. If you did, please subscribe to Little Woods Art so you don't miss any fun art activities, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.